There are three types of reports in QuickBooks, and every report is one of these three types. Lists give you data on customers, employees, or suppliers without any analysis. Detail reports provide details of transactions with additional analysis. Summary reports provide a consolidated overview of transactions. To access a report, we will go to the Report Center by selecting Reports from the Navigation Panel. You can search for the report you are looking for. The first type of report is a list report. Let's type that in the search field. List reports are the most basic types of reports in QuickBooks because they merely list data and they don't have any analysis whatsoever. They also usually have information from one of the databases that runs behind the scenes in QuickBooks, such as the account list, which is a listing of accounts from your chart of accounts, or the customer contact list, which is a listing of your customers along with their address, their phone number, along with their email addresses. Some list reports do list transactions such as the invoice list, but again this is merely a listing of transactions and it doesn't actually have any analysis. So if we look at this report we are not able to see a total of all of our invoices. It merely lists each and every invoice that were entered in QuickBooks over the date range we have selected right here. The second type of report is a detail report. Detail reports also list a lot of data, but they have one thing that list reports don't have, which is a little bit of analysis. Let's look at an example of a detail report, which is sales by customer detail. This report gives us a listing of sales transactions and they are broken down by customer. Here we can see each one of our customers that we sold something to over the select date range and then we see a listing of each line of every sales transaction as well as a total right here for each one of the customers. Detail reports provide much more information than the other two types of reports. As the title of this report suggests, we are seeing every line of each sales transaction for every customer. The challenge with detail reports is that they sometimes get long and somewhat difficult to read. So the final type of report is a summary report, which are the most commonly run reports in QuickBooks. For instance, your balance sheet and your profit and loss reports are, by default, summary reports. Summary reports are built to give you a lot of information very quickly. So if we look at a sales by customer summary report, we are able to see a lot of the same information that the detail report gave to us, but it's in a smaller package. Instead of seeing each individual line of every sales transaction, we are just seeing one number, the total amount of sales for each customer. However, if you still want additional details out of a summary report, you can click on any one of the summary totals and it will drill down into a detail report for that customer. This way you can still see each of the individual transactions that make up that total. Knowing what the different types of reports do can help you find the right report for what you are looking for.